good morning children okay all of you open your workbook page number 15 up to fourth question i explained you today i am going to explain remaining three question and answers and then we can go out of from this lesson see what is the fifth question what is meant by an eclipse eclipse ante enti what is the condition necessary for these eclipses asla eclipse raavali ante a condition compulsory okay na see what is meant by eclipse eclipse means obscuring one celestial body by another eclipse means obscuring one celestial body by another okay eclipse means obscuring o b s c u r i n g obscuring one celestial body by another oka celestial body ki vera oka celestial body addu ochinappudu eclipse anedi erpadutund anamata eclipse means obscuring one celestial body by another oka celestial body ki inko celestial body addu ochinappudu addu raavadanne eclipse antaru okay um what is the condition necessary for these eclipses eclipses occur eclipses occur when the sun the moon and the earth are in a straight line what is the necessary conditions to these eclipses means the celestial bodies the sun the moon and the earth they must be in a straight line then only um, eclipse will occur okay eclipse means obscuring one celestial body by another eclipse ante oka celestial body ki vera oka celestial body addu raavadanne eclipse antam what is the necessary condition to occur these eclipses means eclipse occur when the sun the moon and the earth are in a straight line sun moon earth moodu kuda straight line lo unnappude eclipse anedi eclipses ante solar eclipse gaani lunar eclipse gaani occur avutundi okay eclipse means obscuring one celestial body by another eclipses occur when the sun the moon and the earth are in a straight line okay next come to the sixth question what is gravity gravity ante enti how does it influence the revolution of celestial bodies okay ad vaati prabhavam a gravity prabhavam anedi avi revolve avutu undaniki celestial bodies meeda e vidhanga prabhavam chuptundi okay what is gravity means the mutual mutual attractions attractions between two celestial bodies the mutual attractions between two celestial bodies is known as gravity okay 
the mutual attractions between two celestial bodies is known as gravity gravity ante endante evana rendu celestial bodies madhye unde mutual attractions oka danni okati attract cheskune capacity ni manam gravity antam okay the mutual attractions between two celestial bodies is known as gravity okay how does it will influence the revolution of revolution of celestial bodies ee gravity anedi celestial body ki బాడీస్ కి ఎలా హెల్ప్ అవుతుంది అంటే ఎలా ఇన్ఫ్లుయెన్స్ చూపుతుంది ఎలా ప్రభావం చూపుతుంది అంటే ఇట్ హెల్ప్స్ దెమ్ దెమ్ మీన్స్ సెలెస్టల్ బాడీస్ ఇట్ హెల్ప్స్ దెమ్ టు కీప్ మూవింగ్ అరౌండ్ ద సన్ in the orbits okay what is gravity means the mutual attractions between two celestial bodies is known as gravity gravity ante endante evaina rendu celestial bodies madhye unde mutual attractions ante oka dan nokati attract cheskune dan capacity ne manam gravity antam okay how does it helps for the celestial bodies means it helps them to Uh, keep moving around the sun in that orbits avi revolve avutu untay kada suryan chuttu revolve avutu untay sun chuttu but orbits lo avi suryan chuttu revolve avadaniki ee mutual attractions ante gravity anedi help avutundi anamata space lo padipokondaga aa orbits lo sun chuttu revolve avadaniki ee gravity anedi celestial bodies ki help avutundi the mutual attraction between two celestial bodies is known as gravity it helps them to keep moving around the sun in the orbits next come to the seventh question what is the phase of the moon what is the phase of the moon illuminated illuminated part of the moon is phase of the moon illuminated means the changing shape moon is changing its shape no like uh, cot uh, gibbous uh, crescent the changing shape of the moon is phase of the moon what is the phase of the moon means moon always changing its uh, shape no from night to night um, uh, crescent cot uh, gibbous uh, full moon new moon like that it is changing its shape the changing shape of the moon that means illuminated part of the moon is the phase of the moon okay illuminated part of the moon is phase of the moon illuminated means the changing shape of the moon moon than shape march march kuntu untundi kada aventi crescent quarter gibbous full moon new moon ala maartu untundi kada waxing crescent ani vani crescent ani chusam kada moon phases ala moon phase edaithe change chestundo aa changing shape ne manam em antam ante phase of the moon ani cheppesi antam okay na thank you